Welcome to Rappahannock Issues. I'm Tom Cohen. And I'm David Kerr. And we're going to be looking at topics that are of interest to our community, both regionally and to the state. Welcome to Rappahannock Issues. I'm Tom Cohen. Today we're talking about the Stafford War Memorial. Uh, it's going to be here in Stafford County to recognize those people who have been in the military and given their time and energy to serve their country. And with us today are two of the, the driving forces of this, General Ron Christmas, as well as Dan Chichester. So we welcome both of you to, on the show. Uh, before we get going on the actual particulars, I just wanted to get some more Mr., uh, details about both of you. Just and I know it's going to be awkward for you to talk about yourself, but uh, General Christmas, you've done an awful lot to help our community between the, the Marine Corps Museum and other things. So uh, just sort of give us a background for anybody who doesn't know. Well, just very quickly, uh, I had uh, 34 and a half years of active duty in the Marine Corps. When we retired from active duty uh, back in uh, 1996, made our decision to live here in Stafford County. Uh, I went on uh, to work at the Marine Corps Heritage Foundation, uh, building the National Museum of the Marine Corps, and also being uh, what they call a senior mentorate advisor to the forces around the world. So I was traveling. About 220 days a year around the world, uh, and Stafford County just was pretty darn great to, to my family. Uh, and when it came along that uh, we were about to celebrate the 350th anniversary, that uh, uh, I was asked to assist and help a little bit, and I was more than happy uh, happy to do that. And then this came along, and always working with Dan Chichester is the best best you can get. So. I'm in some small way, if I can pay back uh, for the great, uh, first of all, the great support of the people of Stafford County for what we've tried to do. Also, to kind of say thanks for looking after my families as I was traveling around the world. Oh, neat. And Dan, you're an icon in Stafford County. I mean, you've been very active in our government and in the community. And so just give us a little bit about yourself. Well, I came uh, home from the Army uh, in 70. And I um, was elected Commonwealth Attorney of this county in 1971, and I served until the uh, uh, 1st of January of uh, 2012. And uh, certainly the people of this county have been awfully good to me from the time that I came home. And I served. And I want to say that uh, having General, working with General Christmas and having him living here in Stafford County has been a great asset to us all. And raising the money for the uh, 150th anniversary, similarly the driving force of getting this uh, armed service oil done. Uh, so proud to have him here in the county. Well, I, that's really great about both of you. Uh, just tell me, how did the whole concept of the war memorial get, uh, originate? Well, it, it started when a young uh, man in, in Stafford County, Donald Lamar, was killed in Afghanistan. He was a young Marine, very fine uh, athlete, a very fine young man. And his parents asked the Board of Supervisors that a street be named for him. The Board took that uh, and, and really ran with it, thinking that perhaps uh, we should have an armed services memorial to honor anybody who has ever served in the military and to honor their families as well. Uh, and so, they, uh, at, at that point, uh, appointed a commission. The commission uh, was made up of, of uh, Gary Snellins on the Board of Supervisors, uh, uh, Mark Dudenheffer of the, of the uh, House of Delegates, and General Ron Christmas. Uh, and they were appointed by the Board of Supervisors. And they, at, uh, at that point, uh, held a, a competition amongst the high schools to uh, develop what an armed services memorial would look like. They had a contest, and um, that uh, the winner of the contest and, and all five of the, uh, the winning entries were incorporated uh, into the memorial. Oh, awesome. And it, family is a big element. I mean, when um, you were saying earlier that the whole concept, usually most people think of a war memorial as just the people who serve. Uh, but you're saying it's, it's much more than that. It is much more than that. Uh, first of all, Stafford County can, can recognize its veterans from the Revolutionary War to the 
present and unfortunately in the future. And, and the design of the memorial does just that. But when we all got together and we looked at it, and as Dan has said, uh, it needed to be more than just the veteran. You know, it needed to be the, the veteran and their family. Why is that? Well, we as veterans, we go out and serve. But you know what? Our families serve also. They, you know, and everything goes wrong when we're gone. You know that. Or a child is born. You know, so it's important, and that's what's so special about this memorial. It honors the veteran, but their family also. Right. And, then, and that's sort of the unsung aspect of it. I mean, I, I know as a teacher, there's a lot of time spent on the during peacetime or during wartime, Rosie the Riveter, and this, those type of things that people did. But it's actually just in every war, the, the family goes through a lot. And, it, and you know, we, we tend with our memorials to, to honor those that have made the sacrifice. But you know what? We need to honor those two that have made the service. That's what Right. And, um, and so we have a little bit over a minute left. You started getting into uh, the process. So um, the, the committee sort of sat down and, and, and did you sort of gnash over ideas of what different memorials could be like? Or uh, Well, what happened, where? What, what occurred was that the, the students uh, came in and there were five different uh, collections. And what we did is the commission sat down and brought in some experts and then through... Uh, Working with it, made the final decision on which which of the five designs, but ensure that all of those designs are incorporated into the final one. And and that sort of fits into the whole concept of um, our military, which is, takes in everybody and sort of incorporates everybody's skills into it. Exactly. Um, in all of the community. And so we're going to take our first break. We hope you come back as we get more into the different elements of the design uh, and more things about the Stafford War Memorial. So come back after this break. <laughs> 